Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Now the next level is Tibetan foothills. Over here, we want to jump to the right. Now, there's nothing down there. You are meant to slide and grab this wall and fall here, where I am. So we have to go over there to get that snowmobile. We can fall in the water, but if you fall in the water, then you have to climb up and fall here where I am falling. This is where we want to be. So if you fall in the water, you have to climb up and jump here where I am. The icicles that you see on the ceiling are a trap. To avoid them, you just have to hug the left wall. They also trigger when you are near them, so you can just walk slowly and make them fall in front of you. So there's the snowmobile, you can also see the stone dragon.
so we can go that way to the right or we can jump over here to the left Over here are two guys with guns that we have to kill. So I like to go this way and use the M16. And now wait for them to turn their backs on me. One awesome thing about M16 is that M16 has longer range than your enemies. And now from here we have two choices, to do this level with a snowmobile or without. And I wanna do both ways, so first I'm gonna go with a snowmobile. To complete the level with snowmobile and without. You can speed up the snowmobile by holding the action button, but also if you hit something you will take damage. Here we can jump to the right. This is where we want to be. But if you want to do this properly, then you have to jump like this and then go this way. Okay, so here I am back at this spot. Now we have to leave the snowmobile here for the time being. jump here with the snowmobile so we have to move this block out of the way
Now, first, we want to go to the right because there's a switch that we have to pull that opens the door on the left. Picking up this jade dragon spawns two snow leopards. Jumping over or in this hall will spawn three snow leopards.
down here below this size, there's a key that we have to get. <laughs> to get it, we have to raise this bridge with the key that we already got. Standing on this tile where the key is, we will spawn a guy with a snowmobile. This snowmobile is really cool because it has guns on it, but the huge drawback is that it doesn't have a speed up feature, the turbo feature, so you can't use it to jump over the gaps like you can with red snowmobile. So from here we have to go on foot. Okay, so I am back over here where the part with snowmobile started. So I'm gonna reload. and do this part on foot, without the snowmobile. So by going on foot, I'm gonna use the M16 to deal with all my enemies. Because of its range, I can shoot them before they can shoot me. Now there's no need to move these blocks because we don't have a snowmobile. <laughs> oh, 
over here we want to jump and grab this sledge Now, since we don't have a red snowmobile, we can't jump over this gap. So, we have to go this way. Uh -huh.
Over here without the snowmobile, we just have to run and jump to avoid the boulder traps.
Aha. 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 Now, pulling this lever will spawn three guys with guns. So I'm gonna save. I'm also gonna equip my grenade launcher. Now all of them drop something. Now, I can use the red snowmobile for the next part, but there's no need to. Over here, just jump to the left and follow the snowmobile guy. Just stay behind him and lay waste. Now I want to take his snowmobile to show you how you can complete this next part with it. And I also just want to show it. Why not? By jumping on this block, we will spawn two guys with guns. And now we can run back and ambush them. And now let me reload and do this again on foot. Down below you can see the golden dragon. Golden dragon is guarded by two boulder traps. The second boulder trap is cool because it's a troll trap. It makes you think that after the first boulder trap you can go in and get the dragon, but nope, there's the second one, and I love it. Over here you can go to the right, climb this ledge, 
and then shoot the snowmobile guys with M16 from here. They don't drop anything. These two don't drop anything. <laughs> we want to fall down over here to the left to take the least fall damage. This guy doesn't drop anything. Now we can just fall down in the water. Now there is another way to get down in the water without taking any fall damage. To do that you just have to jump here. Then align yourself to jump like this. Run jump and swan dive. And you can also press the roll button during the swan dive to do this little cool trick. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, if you liked this video give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and I'll see you next time, thank you.